Hello everyone, my name is Jay Strom, and this is my uh, contest entry for JL2579 server contest, I guess. And pretty much what I'm going to be doing today is uh, showing you around my base. And what I'd like to do is explain to you guys why I think I'd be a great addition to your server. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, so I have to get this done in seven minutes, so I'm going to try and quickly go through it. So this is my storage room. It's a simple design that I came up with a long time ago, actually. But uh, lots of people have started using it. And as you can see, probably it's just one chest, but there go two backs. So it only takes up one block space, but it goes two backs. So uh, this is just my secret little uh, with all, uh, chest with all my uh, very uh, enchanted stuff. Collect eggs. It's from this little spot. Unfortunately, the egg farm is not, or the chicken farm is not actually in use right now because I killed them all for chicken. And simple enchanting room. This is just a bunch of dispensers that I can, so I can just quickly go like this, grab some. Oh yeah, there's all the chicken that I cook. Uh, flower farm, you guys know what that is. Um, this is just a speed thing, so I could go quickly down. Furnaces. Um, this is a reed farm, simple design, you could just smash them all. This is a uh, melon farm that I recently had to uh, uh, use because I need melons, but I wanted to record, so <laughs> if some of them are still sitting, so basically it just pops up, grab the melons, come on this side, then it pops up, grab the melons, place on the chest. So moving on, um, just quickly down here to my enchanting, or my, not my enchanting, my brewery room. Uh, this is CNB Minecraft's pocket size, as he likes to call it, enchanting room. You guys know how it is, I just, there's all the corrupt and uh, splashes and all that. Can easily make them. There's ice there, so they come down faster. My simple design of my chest. Just moving on over here. Wheat farm. Um, not actually uh, in use right now because I recently harvested it. Um, but basically, how it works is uh, you turn on the lever, all of it goes down. There's actually two layers to this, which is nice because then I can get a lot of wheat. It's actually 64 exactly seeds per um, layer on the side, so four stacks in total. So let's move uh, up to the cow breeding farm. Welcome back, uh, hello to uh, everyone. This is my um, breeding farm for uh, my cows. This is actually Prizy's breeding farm. It doesn't really work on uh, multiplayer in case you guys are wondering. I am in a multiplayer server. Uh, actually, I already said that earlier, but just reminding you. So basically, how it works. Them down. And it drops down to this cooker that I decided to make, and I based it off someone's idea, but I actually um, enhanced it myself. So, quickly look at that. So, basically, the cows uh, fall down here. There's a little water drop, so um, they don't lose too much health and just die instantly. The wiring's in there. It's basically cooked cows, and the lava pours out, kills them, collect all the drops. This was from before because I used to have it underground, but yeah, so. This is actually the entrance to my house, and I personally like to design stuff, so, um, yeah, this is really my, de my design. But, uh, quickly we're gonna have the nether and check out my blaze farm. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is, uh, my nether place that I've been working on recently. That's a track coming from the main portal, so let's head down. Uh, this is a 3x3, three three, uh, spiral door that I based off, uh, Etho, but I also had a few little touches to it to make it um, kind of turn the way I wanted, so basically this way instead of the other way, uh, which I like um, better, in my opinion. It doesn't really matter, but that's just how I am. <laughs> this is my blaze farm, um, also based off Etho's design. Didn't really do anything else. It's uh, very simple. It's down because it's very loud. I should have turned it off, but I forgot. Uh, I assume you guys know how it works. Um, lava pu pusher and every, or not lava pusher, but the piston pusher brings them all down to a central area which is down here where they actually get crushed um, by this button no, this button, and this button resets it and this is the lava uh, lights, uh, lava that drops down to turn the mob uh, uh, the spawning off and this is uh, just some chest with a bunch of blaze rods and stuff uh, these are only single because I didn't think I'd need that many chests for blaze rod, but apparently I did, and that's why some on the other side. Uh, this is enchanting room, also based off Etho. In case you guys didn't know, I love Etho, 
and I really have a, a thing for style so I like to make things look nice or else I just get kind of like ah oh, this game really annoys me and I like I like things to move nicely although like this isn't the nicest I'm still working on it but basically how I kinda set up this whole thing it's also based off Etho but I really like it so this is uh... yeah basically everything I'd like to show and I hope you guys uh... whoever's judging my video I hope you uh... consider me to be a, a valid uh... player for your server and um... the last thing I want to say is um, I know on your server you guys are mostly based off redstone and I would consider myself a basic redstone person but I don't consider myself someone like Panda or Wooby or anyone else like JL so basically what I want to bring to your server is that touch of style so I know you guys um, have some but I think by having me and probably some two other contestants um, I'll be able to make your server look a little bit better so that's what I would like to do and that's why I think I'd be a perfect uh, addition to your server and since you we've uh, actually met before and talked I think it's a nice um, it's a nice uh, I'd, I'd be a nice addition because you guys already know who I am and it's uh, not easy to kind of get a, get uh, related with each other so this, this is uh, pretty much it I uh, hope you guys liked my video, my base, and I hope you guys consider me for your server. And I wish good luck to all the other contestants, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, guys, and one more thing I wanted to just quickly say is the 2579 in jail's name. Uh, at first I thought it had something to do with his birthday, but then I was like, no, he can't be born 1979. So um, I came up with the uh, reason that it was just random numbers, and uh, I know a lot of other people said that, but... I am pretty sure it's, I'm like almost 99% sure that's the reason, so uh, I guess that's just a quick addition.